Cadia broke before the guard did. Cadia stands! That's probably a reference that I don't get because I don't know nothing about this universe. The Emperor protects! <laughs> What is this game, anyway? Warhammer 40k Space Marine! I, I know the title of the game. What is it? Is it a tactical strategy game like XCOM? No, it's a third-person shooter. Oh. Oh, I like third-person shooters more than I like first-person shooters. Yeah. Is this it is, um, in... Honestly, I, I think this is a really good Warhammer game. Because, unfortunately, a lot of Warhammer games aren't... aren't great. I've... Before I talked to you about it, I didn't even know this was a series, but apparently it's a really big thing. Oh, yeah. Warhammer is huge, dude. It's like StarCraft. It's like a StarCraft in well, the fact that not a lot of people know about it, but those who do know it's huge. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say not a lot of people know about it because it is incredibly popular. But um, it's not it's viral, I guess you could say. It's not like the thing that would make headlines like Resident Evil or something no, like that. No, no, not really. I mean, among the people that are into it, it, it is massive. And don't you dare get the lore wrong. Okay. <laughs> which I probably will get most of the lore wrong. Uh, as, as we can see here, the space marines in blue are slaying the Uruks, which are uh, escaped uh, from the shadow of Asylum. No, they're just orcs. Yeah, that's what but I said. It's O-R-K, not O-R-C. Yeah, orcs are funny because they always they're they are just super goofy. They call any melee weapons choppas, <laughs> and any uh, any guns or shooters, bang bangs, shooters or uh, daka. Mm hmm. Well, why don't we get He's started? more daka. I have no idea what this is, so let's just get started and see what kind of game it is. And uh, don't tell anybody, but we're gonna put it on easy. Okay, I won't tell anybody, and I definitely won't include it in the video. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Don't tell them. Fine, we'll put it on normal. Yeah. Why well, you do it on hard? Because I want to actually enjoy playing the game. <laughs> Coward. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. And war never changes. Xenos invading! Death to Xenos! Oh no, not the, um... On Gryia! Xenos, that's bad, I guess. Xenos are any aliens. <laughs> All any right. aliens are Xenos. Could've just called them aliens, then. Manufactorum Ajacus. Oh. oh no, not our manufact. The manufactorums are where all of the weapons and it's where all the mechas are built. Yes, and the titans and well, not necessarily titans because humans can't really make more titans. How much of a nerd for this are you? You seem kind of nerdish about it. I really like Warhammer 40k. So anyway, just to to kind of give you a, a brief backstory, brief, not backstory, but like a brief thing. Uh, no, they don't. You don't want to use an exterminatus. The strategic value of the Titan is absolute. Um, so, the Warhammer game series is a, it's a tabletop game. Right. You, you buy little tiny minis that are... Obviously it's a tabletop game, but look at it. it you <laughs> buy minis that are prohibitively expensive. Yeah. And you glue them all together and you paint them. And you spend a lot of time figuring out what you want their war gear to be. Yes, yeah, send to the Adeptus Astartes Ultra! Yeah, the Ultramarines! Definitely! They're the bestest. So... You, you buy these little minis, you put them up on the table, and then you, you fight other other people, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. I can sum up the entire Warhammer 40k lore and how every game goes in two words. War explosions. Everything's fucked. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> um, well, we, we've already played a Warhammer game already, and if I remember correctly, you just kept sending wave after wave of your own troops to die. Yep, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> God, um, what the a one thing, bleak life this is. The one thing humanity has going for it in the Warhammer series is that they have effectively a never-ending supply of humans. Well, that's a good thing, I guess. This oh. is you. You're an ultramarine. With two bullet wounds. Uh, they're either bullet wounds or they're, like, actually... Captain Titus. Bullet wounds. Let's just go. The orcs have massacred the Forge World's Oh, no! They have taken the planetary defense. Oh my god, we're so screwed. That does sound bad. Clever of the damn dorks. Keeps us off their backs while they loot the Titan. So the Titan war machines, um... Basically the Emperor of Mankind after humanity completely collapsed. Mm -hmm. The Emperor of Mankind went and got all the humans back together, created the Ultramarines and the Space Marines and all these cool guys. The stuff like the Titans, which are just massive fucking mechs, only they're not actually, you can't call them mechs because of Mech Warrior. Um, okay, well, me and everyone who's watching this video are going to be silently nodding our heads in the background. Yup, yup. The Titans are massive, humanity can't build more of them, so humanity is willing to do pretty much anything to save one. Including sacrifice means... wave after wave of their own men. Yes. 
Ultramarines are the super cool guys that can do everything, and they're... <laughs> they're wearing the bionicle masks. The Codex Astartes does not support this action. We're doing it anyway, though. It's not heresy. Isn't it, though? Not yet. You sure? Oh, isn't there a red group of Space Marine called the Heretics? Yes, those are those are the Chaos Marines. Chaos Marines. Are, are we going to see them immediately? I don't know if the Chaos Marines are in this game, actually. How, there's like 40 different factions, aren't there? Oh, there are so many factions. And kind of one of the fun things about Warhammer is you can kind of come up with your own factions. If you want to if you want to do a bunch of lore crafting and be like, yeah, these are my faction, or this is my faction of Space Marines, you can kind of do that. <laughs> this is my faction of drones I'm going to send to their death. I worked meticulously to create them. Now watch them die. <laughs> All right. Death to orcs! It, it seems like a bit of a hack and slash. Yeah, it's hack and slash and also shooty. Okay. A lot of orcs here. Yep. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. Fire the bolter. Fire the bolter! He's shooting the guns at us. Keep attacking him with our sticks. Hey, you, you have to get wide to stun an opponent. That's not stunning him, that's slaughtering him! I did stun him, and then I did this. That's, okay, why don't you just do that in the first place? Why even stun them again with? Space Marines are the best of the best. They can do everything. They're amazing in they're, every single conceivable way, and they're boring. Hooray! In my in my opinion, Space Marines are boring. They sound like the Marty Stu the race of Marty Stews. They kind of are. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's right bumper to reload. At okay. least they've got some cool armor designs and very they, iconic. They're they're uh, it's big chunky armor. Mm -hmm. It it definitely inspired the um big Gears chunky. of War franchise. I was about to make that comparison. It looks very similar to Game of uh, Gears of Thrones. The, what what Gears, Gears of War? Gears of War. <laughs> the um the Warhammer games definitely inspired the Gears of War franchise. Does you sure it's definitely? Just because they're big doesn't mean necessarily they took inspiration from the other. It's pretty much any time it's big, chunky space marines. Also, all the orcs have, like, British accents, and they're really funny. Uh, um, uh, Warhammer doesn't have a monopoly on big, chunky armor. They can't claim that no. as theirs. Oh, there's the war boss. Uh, he seems intimidated. <laughs> Get off my ship, Spice! <laughs> I like him. He's got personality. Unlike the waves of troops he's sending at you. So, fun thing, fun thing about orcs... Uh, lore-wise? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, I'm trying to figure do, stuff out. Do the tutorial and stuff. Yeah. Orcs, so, they're big, stupid creatures. Well, actually, the fun thing about orcs <laughs> is the more the more orcs are together, the smarter they get. Oh, they're a to, hive mind. Yeah, to a point. I mean, they're not truly a hive mind, but to a point. <laughs> I see. Um, I think they stole that idea from the Geth in Mass Effect. No. <laughs> Warhammer has been around since, like, the frickin' 70s, man. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, boy, that's canon. So, um, one of the other funny things about Oryx is... Warhammer making people broke since the 70s, right? Yeah. It, uh, they're, the, the models are prohibitively expensive. How many of them do you own? None, because I don't have I don't have infinite amounts of money to dump in uh... into a Warhammer game and yeah. tabletop and stuff like that. I I would really now don't get me wrong I would really love to build a Death Corps of Krieg army, but I don't have the money to do that. You do have more knickknacks and figurines than I do, though. You could probably I do. you could probably spend your money on that if you wanted to go. If you were intent on going broke, that's how you the, could do it. The Death Corps of Krieg are basically. Um, trying to repent for their history because uh, several of their people decided to rebel against the Emperor. So they will send wave after wave of, them, of themselves into enemy. In fact, their commissars who normally have to shoot their people to, to get, motivate them to do things. Mm -hmm. The only point of commiss commissars in the Death Corps of Krieg is to keep them from killing themselves and to help them... Uh, interact with other soldiers better. I'm detecting a theme here. Soldiers are expendable. Yes. Is it for? Is there any faction in this series, this whole game thing, where individual soldiers are not expendable? They actually value their lives? Ultramarines. Yeah, like space marines. What, these guys? Yeah, the space marines are. We just said they're the, the opposite of that. They just send wave after wave of their own men. No, sorry, that's wave after wave of their own men of the, um, like, just the, sh the shock troopers. Oh, so there's, uh, like, uh, two classes. Ones that matter and ones that don't? Yeah, pretty much. Ultramarines are... Uh, in the Warhammer universe, they're actually, like, technically relatively rare. And most 
members of the Imperium, which is humanity, will go their entire lives without ever seeing a single Ultramarine. Well, I feel to the so honored because there's one right in front of us right now. To the point that um, sometimes the Ultramarines start getting worshipped. Shot me off course. I've had no word from Leandros, but I'm picking up box chatter from Imperial Guard forces on the ground. I scarcely thought that it was, was the other guy that jumped off with us. Oh, okay. So still fighting. Heading towards the front lines now. I will meet you there. Have you beaten this game before? Ooh, chapter have, two already, huh? Yeah. I have never beaten this game. Is it a large game? Um, I... It's decently large. I've just... I've never played more than about, like, 20 minutes of it. Oh. <laughs> but you enjoy it still? You were... I thought it was fun. Like, I really liked the demo, and I bought it, and then other games started coming out, and I started playing other games. Yeah, and... he got distracted very easily, as yeah. you are wont to do. I love how the little tiny imps just explode when you hit them. Um, another fun thing about orcs is a bunch of their vehicles, like aircraft, they have, like, jets and stuff. Yeah, wait, the orcs have jets? Yeah, the orcs have, like, jets and things like that. Like, I, I'm imagining this big, dumb green orc piloting a fighter jet. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I, I'm not crazy, that's a thing. That is a thing. Okay, and okay. One of I'm starting to get into it now. <laughs> I got I got a bolter. All you right. would actually probably like if you actually played Warhammer. This seems like the thing I might I might get dragged into and never leave. If you actually played Warhammer, I think you would really like playing as the orcs. They are they <laughs> the are orcs? so much fun. <laughs> How in what way are they better than other races? Um, uh, because they're just ridiculous. It's like the orcs are kind of like uh, Games Workshop and Warhammer being like. Yeah, they're goofy and we don't fucking care. <laughs> um, well, I, I do love the orcs and Uruks in Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War, which they just have so much charming personality. I don't. Are there any orcs in this game that have that they have the same Space Marine status? Like there are better orcs. There are there are definitely some like famous orcs. Really. Um, uh, but one of the funny what I was trying to say about like the the jets that they have. Oh yeah. Um. One of the weird things about orcs is the more they believe something will work, the more likely it is to work. To the point that when humans, they've done experiments with orc equipment. Mm -hmm. You're technically not really allowed to do anything with it, but whatever. Yeah. Because um, uh, it's a heresy. Following the rules seems to be high on these guys' list after they disobeyed orders and jumped out of a plane. Well, that wasn't disobeying orders. That just wasn't an approved action. Yeah. Uh, it, okay. It's better um, to ask for forgiveness than seek so, permission. To the point that when humans have done experiments with orc jets and orc equipment, it doesn't work. Because they don't there's believe no, hard there's enough? no orcs around to believe that <laughs> it will work. There was, uh, there's one human commissar who fought an orc, like an orc war boss, and survived, but he got his arm ripped off. So he fought the orc war boss again later, got his arm, or took the orc war boss's arm, put it on his, and the only reason it works is because the orcs are like this man is more orc than more orc than we are. <laughs> so the space marine has an orc arm and it oh, works. Oh no, it's a, it's a it's a just a normal human. He's um he's a commissar. Okay. Which a commissar is like a leader of just the shock troopers. You're, you're taking a lot of damage right now. Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. I probably won't be. I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> well, um, so, so the, the human orcs are, the orcs are actually terrified of this human. I can't. I forget what his name is. What, the what orcs are terrified is of Is this him. from a game, this character you're talking about? He's or? a character that you can actually play as in uh, Warhammer. In which Warhammer game? Not this game. game. Just like you can play as as this human when you're like... You can buy him and use him as a character. <laughs> okay. So he's a collectible trading card that's rare foil. Kind of, yeah. Holy um, crap, he survived. He um, he basically has a, an orc arm on him. And it increases his combat effectiveness. And the orcs believe he's immortal, so it's impossible <laughs> for them to kill him. Hold on. Oh, I thought he was going to have some cool one-liner, but he just got shot in the face. No. Nope. Hey, getting shot a lot, just casually walking up. Yeah. The Codex Astartes warns against using jump packs to leap blindly into enemy fire, and for good reason. Your days as a novice are behind you. Why do you still interpret the Codex so narrowly? I looked at its rules for guidance. We all do. But there are also benefits to thinking for yourself. Ooh, that might be dangerous thinking there. 
Sounds pretty much like anything, heresy. Anything with the humans that involves uh, that involves doing something that you don't think the emperor would approve of is probably heresy. So was this a, a game set in an alternate universe or in the past? Or? Uh, it's way in the future. It's way. in the year forty thousand. Forty. Oh, <laughs> hey, is that where they get the name from? Gee, you think? <laughs> Here, I thought it was just because they were forty thousand men in every battle being sent to their death. Nope. It's because it takes place in the year forty thousand. You sure it's not a little like column A, column B? Like, uh, maybe a little You're just probably. one in 40,000 men. You think I care about you? There's one day I went on, like, one of the wikis for Warhammer. Oh, and I boy. started reading Warhammer lore. Er, lore. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I spent three hours reading Warhammer lore, mm-hmm. and uh, you barely scratched the surface. I believe that. There's if, so much. If this has been going on for about 50 years, then, yeah, there's probably a lot to sift through. Behold a servitor. It might have been, like, the 80s or something, but... Has there, ever, or 80s. has there ever been an instance you say people can make their own races because it's just a tabletop well, game? Well, not races, but you can make your own, like, your own, uh... Oh, I couldn't save him! Oh, well. Fuck him. Is there a way you could have saved him? I don't know, maybe if I killed fast enough. <laughs> maybe if you were paying attention. Uh, so those guys that just got gunned down were, uh, were just shock troopers. Oh, so they're just... They were, they who, were, who cares? They're just shock troopers then. They were Imperial Guard, and, uh, their weapons are called flashlights, because... They're not actually called flashlights, but everybody jokes that um, the Imperial Guard's weapons are basically about as good as a flashlight. Okay, well, I they're, know what they're, they're, they're I, LAS guns. I know when Alan Wake, a flashlight is very powerful, so maybe it's a compliment. No, it isn't. <laughs> so you said that the people have been making their own, not races, but... Yeah, like, you could probably make your own, uh... Factions? Yeah, you could make your own, like, groups of space marines and stuff. Has there ever been an instance where somebody... Ooh, yeah, that's a gun, all right. Has there ever been an instance where someone created their own faction, like their fa- their own fan faction, and it became canonical? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe you have to dig deeper in the wiki to find that. Maybe. You saved yourselves. We thought you did. Are these the shock troopers? Yeah, these are the Imperial Guards. Oh, uh, okay. Where will we find this lieutenant? At the front lines. Follow the trench network to the lieutenant's command bunker. Carry on, Guardsman. Okay, continue to die in service of your country. Yeah, the Emperor protects. Get out there. There's a there's a, a book that's been out of print for a long time, but it's like the Imperial Guards Uplifting Manual. And it just like talks about it talks about uh like different things the Imperial Guard is expected to do. And it has like some joke things in there, like one page is meant to be completely blank. It's like this space intentionally left blank. And if you're found with your Imperial Guards uplifting manual. And that is that is dirty. Oh. You will be executed for okay. heresy. Okay. So you're saying in the universe, there's a book that's been out of print for a while. Oh no! In in real life, they some they actually printed this book. Okay. But it's supposed to be like the Imperial Manual that all Cadian shock troopers have to have. Mm. Like when you're in basic, they gave you that book that you're supposed to. <laughs> a little green book, yeah. yeah. It's like that. They're supposed to have it at all times. If you don't have it, that's grounds for execution. Um, if the one page that is white is dirty, that's grounds for execution. <laughs> wow. It sounds like the military, all right. So it sounds like we're fighting for something, and the, the, uh, the numbers aren't in our favor. The odds are against us here. Yeah, there's a lot of orcs. I, I see that. What are we exactly fighting for? Oh, um, so... I'm sorry. Maybe they'll <laughs> explain it right now. So you found something to keep you busy. Worry not, Captain. Oh my arm! I've saved some orcs. My word! <laughs> oh my word! The orcs have got that gun well. Defended. So, um, what we're what we're trying to do, what was kind of briefly said in the intro, is this planet is getting attacked by orcs, and there is a titan on this planet, which humanity can't build more of. So, we have to save it at all costs. A titan. Yes. What is a titan? Gigantic. Fuck off, robot. So you have a giant robot that humans are trying to protect, but the orcs are trying to destroy? Yeah, or they're trying to take it. Oh. The, the orcs have space travel? Yeah. Wait, does everyone have space travel? Yeah. How many planets are there? Uh, it's this entire galaxy. So many, many planets. Is it the Milky Way galaxy? It's, do we have yeah, it's the Milky, Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> wow. All these creatures are in the galaxy that we're in, huh? From different planets, we discovered space travel. So mm-hmm. it's... I, I got... More and more, I'm feeling like this game may have stolen from Mass Effect. Mm. <laughs> Chain sword! Yes, please! Or, okay, maybe it's also stealing from God of War. Okay. 
Rip and tear! Rip and tear! I, I don't see much of a chain on that sword. It's it's like a chainsaw. Okay, so maybe it's not stealing from God of War. Maybe it is taking from I Gears of War. I don't know why you keep insisting that these games are, <laughs> this game is stealing from things, considering it came out in, like, the 80s. I'm doing it for the absurd humor of it. Oh, yes, this game is stealing from Fortnite now. Look at all this. Oh, yeah, it definitely <laughs> is. Oh my god, don't ever mention Fortnite again. <laughs> that game's such crap. Uh, you're so angry because you're out of the loop. I'm not angry because I'm out of the loop. I'm angry because that game is... The, that game and Epic are single-handedly destroying the gaming industry. Well, I'll give you maybe the company itself isn't exactly the best, but that game, maybe not so much. It's a maybe, bad game. Maybe it's just a game that you don't have an affinity for. Maybe there are people that like that game that would say that this is a bad game. Yeah, losers. <laughs> yeah. Not everyone shares your taste. Some people like free things, like milk crates, you know? Oh, God, whatever. <laughs> By the way, I mentioned a while ago that I was going to watch Where in the World is Carbon San Diego, the new show. Oh, yeah, the new one that's yeah. on Netflix. I wanted to report back and, and ask whether or not it's any good. Yeah? Animation style is mwah, top notch. It, it looks beautiful. Yeah? It's it's still a children's cartoon show, but it's not okay, terrible. It's, it's still good. That's a squib. Oh, that looks like a little bomb creature. Yes, it, uh, the orcs take squibs and put bombs on them, and then they <laughs> run at the enemy and explode. <laughs> Okay. It's little, little terrorist mongrels there. Yes, they are. Yeah, you. if you actually played Warhammer, I think you would like playing the orcs because they're kind of just unapologetically stupid. Well, they may be a little more evil than I would like, though. Um, technically, there is not a single good person in the entire <laughs> Warhammer universe. I would imagine not. No, we've all done humanity things is, um, to humanity survive. Is, humanity's pretty terrible in the Warhammer. Oh, no. Like, you killed a small one, too. Yeah, it's fine. Like, even the Tau are probably the closest thing that to good in the Warhammer universe. Yeah, yeah, I can't go five feet without hearing you stroke their ego. Oh, God, the Tau um, are so great. But, uh... I don't even know what the Tau are, but I know you love them so uh, much. They're fish people. <laughs> they're stupid space fish. If, okay. I'm, if I'm following the, um... If I'm following the Emperor's example, yes, the Tau are horrible fish people. They're horrible fish people. Wow, can they breathe air? Yeah, I mean, they could breathe air. They just, they just like, fans of Warhammer jokingly refer to the Tau as uh, just uh, space fish. Do they run around with helmets on that keep water inside their helmets so they can no, breathe? No, you're taking it too literally. It's because they kind of look like fish. Uh, okay, they just look fish-like, but they yeah, breathe Yeah, they kind air. of have, like, a fish face. They breathe air. Yeah. Oh, okay. But they have, um, the... Basically, the Tau were created in, like, the 90s or early 2000s to try and appeal to uh, weebs. <laughs> Pretty much. Wait, so, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. You're not talking in-game universe. They weren't created. They're not an artificial race. No, no. They, they were introduced to the lore back... Oh, were. I died. Yeah. Do you talking about fish people? Blood of Martyrs is the seed of the Imperium. Hooray! And this is the ending to the game canonically. Yep. Yes. Mike, well, we're going to pretend that you are a, um... You're just a Imperial Guard. Death to the heretics! That's what, yes. That's what an Imperial Guard would say? Yes. I love the Emperor! Yes. I'm that getting, is that is good. You're right. doing you're doing good so far. So fish, fish people need to be exterminated. Yeah, death to the orcs. Um, so we're gonna hit you with some, I'm gonna hit you with some uh, with some uh, scenarios here. We're gonna see if you would be executed for heresy. Okay, so you're I'm on ready the battlefield. For this. Right? I, didn't, I didn't study for this, but yeah, let me hear what you got to say. You're on the battlefield, right? Looks like you're on the battlefield, but sure. Hypothetically, yeah. I am. Hypothetically, you're on the battlefield. Okay. Yeah. A bunch, <laughs> of, bunch of orcs have been taken or have been been like just driving you guys crazy for the last month yeah okay orcs are getting on my nerves they've been orcs attacking are getting on your nerves you're running low on ammo you haven't eaten in days you're starving right okay you kill some of the orcs and you find oh there's a bolter on the ground that the orcs dropped so what do you do you don't have any more ammo left I i'm assuming to use the enemy's weaponry is heresy and i should be exterminated if i pick yes. it up Yes, extermination. You use the enemy's weaponry. That is ex immediate extermination. Really? Yes. So what is what am I supposed to do in that scenario? Go after him with my bare hands? Fix bayon. Uh, sure. Yeah. Bludgeon them to death with my inert weapon. Yep. Fix them or uh, fix bayonets. Rush the enemy. How are the humans still alive? There's got to be a faction of. Oh wait, the outcasts probably defy the emperor, don't they? They think his rules are stupid. Yeah, that's one of them. Well, you know, if that were a rule, I'd probably be an outcast too. Sounds like the Emperor's an idiot. 
Well, too bad, because you've just been immediately executed for heresy for expressing that in public. I didn't, I just thought it. I just... Ah, uh, yes, but the Inquisition showed up, and they heard that you were thinking that. <laughs> well, the Inquisition isn't allowed in outlaw space. In, yeah, in, they are. In, uh... At, the Inquisition goes wherever the hell they want, Mike. <laughs> what about this guy? <laughs> nice helmet, I like it. He's got... He's... Yeah, a lot of their gear kind of looks like football gear, which is hilarious to me. Honestly, I'd probably enjoy this game a lot more if there were some more characterization, because they've got some really cool character designs, but then you just shoot them dead for a while. I don't know. I, I, there's not enough RPG elements for it. Does the tabletop game have more RPG elements, I assume? Oh, yeah. The tabletop game has a lot more RPG. Like, when you buy... um. Oh, no! I was going to kill him. You, well, he's dead. Dead is dead, right? Dead is dead, yeah, but I wanted to I wanted to cut him in half with my chainsaw. So, in the tabletop game, you can, you have your, you know, you'll have like a little squad of space marines that you got. And you can be like, okay, I want this guy to use a bolter, I want this guy to use a heavy melter. Plays a lot more like a tight group of people you can customize as yeah, opposed to a I giant mean, war of people uh, that are faceless and throw awayable. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like, you can actually I, make I'm sorry. Disposable. Throw away a ball is a stupid way to say it. You can actually make like a fun little squad of guys that you're like, hey, these guys are gonna. I, I really like these guys. And granted, a lot of them are probably gonna die horribly. Of course, because that's the tape. That's how the tabletop game goes. The emperor is revered as a god, even though that is totally not what he wanted. Third Cadian Regiment. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. Unless my commanders rise from the grave. So far, they seem content to stay put. Lieutenant. The scouts have returned to forward base. How many? Two. Damn. Damn, I sent out one, and he multiplied by budding. Yeah, heresy. Kill him. <laughs> Damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. That is why we are here. Leave the gun to us. Come with me, then. I should warn you, my lords. We've got a slight orc problem down Slight. <laughs> slight. So, how does mating work in this universe? Are humans allowed to do that, or is it only permitted by the Emperor? Um, no, you're allowed to, you're allowed to mate. Oh yeah? You think love can bloom on a battlefield between you and the left tenant here? Uh, no. No, because I'm a space marine. Are they sterile? Are space marines sterile? I... Are they castrated? I think they might be, actually. Yeah, I think the space marines might actually be sterile. How do you make more space marines, then? Um, it is a long, drawn-out process. <laughs> so is sex. Uh, basically, unless you're bad at it, you uh, space marines have to find more space marines, and they do it by finding people who are potentially adept. And then there's so okay, okay, so they just recruit from the talent pool of uh, throw away a bull humans. Yes, they recruit from the talent pool. If you want to know anything more about these games, about Warhammer in general, look listen, up, uh, listen to us because we're gonna keep on talking about it. No, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna stop talking about it and just <laughs> have fun playing the game. Uh, if you want to know more about Space Marines or anything about Warhammer 40k in general, look up Luton 09's videos. He seriously has like he has a couple of videos. He has one. I realize I'm plugging somebody else's channel right now. I don't, I don't know. He has one video that is part of a series. One of them I think is like two hours long that discusses like the whole lead up from. Basically now until the 41st millennium. Yeah, yeah. Lore is probably very thorough here, yeah. Stuck on bloody forge world and not a single tech priest in sight. Oh, uh, there's no tech priest. How are you going to get your weapon blessed? I, I will do it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Emperor, this weapon is now blessed. Oh, that's heresy. I don't care. He can execute me if he can find me. I think you would probably just have one of your, one of your squad mates would just execute you. Oh, maybe I'll just join the orcs then. Uh, no, they'll just kill you immediately. What if I paint my face green? Would they know? Uh... Actually, that's an interesting question. They are pretty stupid. <laughs> just rub some dead orc blood on my I body might... so I smell like them. Carry a big axe and say, ooh, 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 and they'll think I'm one of them. All right, boys! Let's go! I'm hungry! I haven't heard any of these orcs yelling battle cries. It's oh, mostly... they go, WOG! Yeah, it's mostly just, uh... uh yeah, it's called WOG. Wog is their battle cry. Okay. It's the Spice Marines. Yell Wog at them. That'll intimidate. Wow, he died very brutally. Yes, he did. Oh, yeah. We are just gunning down orcs now. 
Heavy bolter! You heavy thought, bolter! Thought we were killing him earlier, but now we're really killing him. Heavy bolters are my friend! I love the heavy bolter! Humans can't carry the heavy bolter unless they're a space marine, because they've been genetically enhanced. Feels like they're they're losing a lot of orcs right now. Yeah, but they got a lot of them. Yeah, how do you think orcs reproduce? Um, I think they kind of reproduce by budding. Wait, seriously? Yeah, I think it's I think it's literally something like budding. No, that can't be right. I, I, I think it might be. I'm probably horribly wrong and somebody will correct me. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Space Marine, you're not- there you Just go. Just gonna ignore that one, huh? Alright, fine, we'll do your job for you. I mean, it's I'll our- do it. It's our job too, I guess. Yeah, the Emperor protects. He was trying to escape. Does the Emperor say you're allowed to shoot people in the back as they're fleeing? Yes, if they're Xenos. Oh, cause he's a Xenophobe? If- if- if they're a filthy Xenos. Are there- <laughs> Humanity's power is absolute! Is that just the thing in the game, like- there's no way any of these races ever get along. No alliances are ever formed. Um, there were, like, earlier. Stalker Bolter. But now it's just every race for themselves and... Pre pretty much, Has yeah. there ever been a love story between a human and an orc? I don't think about humans and orcs because I think there's only orc males. Well, there has there ever been an instance where a human female was caressing an orc's face? I highly doubt it. And love bloomed on the battlefield. I think mostly because orcs will just rip people apart and try to eat them. Has there ever been an orc that didn't want to do that? I don't think so, and if there was, he probably was killed by another orc immediately. <laughs> and then eaten. Lieutenant, you have done well. But you are no longer alone. We will retake the gun. We will get your reinforcements. Okay. I don't think Space Marines have, like, any sex drive whatsoever. I think they're pretty much just 100% the Emperor protects everything for the Emperor. Are you sure about that? Is yeah. that, like, part of the canon that... Yeah, I think I think they've all actually been pretty much, like... Brainwashed? Yeah. Uh -huh. Pretty much everybody's brainwashed for the Emperor. Every human, you mean. Because oh. these orcs... What, what is the orc equivalent of the Emperor? Is uh, it... Brain Boys. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, they have a the they're they're smart like scientists are called brain boys. So it's not a one person, it's just a a collective called the brain boys. Yeah, it's whatever orc is like really smart. Well, that seemed like a pretty interesting weapon he was equipped with, holding a hornet's nest, firing bees at you. <laughs> okay, we have a sniper rifle now, it looks like. Yeah. It's still a shooting gallery, nothing but I I imagine I would actually get bored of this game pretty quickly. I don't know, it's you start getting like they're gonna start rushing you eventually. Yeah, I'm sure they swap up their tactics and there's new playstyles and everything, but it feels like th there's a heavy emphasis on combat in this game, which is not a bad thing, but it's not my cup of tea. That's understandable if it's not your cup of tea. I mean, this game was relatively well received. People seem to like it. It's a pretty recent game, isn't it? Uh, no, I think it came out like 10 years ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> then, which is why you got it for dirt cheap. So yeah, can... which is why I got it for 50 cents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, considering it's 10 years old, it's aged pretty well. Looks not bad. Yeah. Definitely has aged better than uh, Fire Warrior has, unfortunately. Is that another Warhammer game? Yeah, that's one where you play as a Tau Fire Warrior. And you probably like that one because it's playing as a Tau. The um, Tau Fire Warrior was actually my first introduction to the Warhammer series, and I was like, damn, that's way cool. And uh, then I found out about the Space Marines later, and I was like, the Tau seem cooler. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're definitely strolling through the wreckage what, here. So what I actually really want for a Warhammer game, and I highly doubt it will ever happen, is like a Warhammer or bleh, like a Warhammer 40k first-person shooter. Is there an orc behind you? I think one's chasing you no, down. No, it's um oh. more Space Marines. Okay. I want like a Warhammer 40k first-person shooter where you play as just like Imperial Guard, and basically if you die, you just it's it's not the concept of. Uh, you have another life. It's if you die, you just spawn as another as another um, Imperial Guardsman. <laughs> wow, he he burned alive. Uh, I imagine that could be a fun game for you. I I don't know. Maybe uh, you know, th there's not going to be a third Shadow of Mordor game because the Shadow of War game kind of ended conclusively. But I guess if they wanted to make a third one, they could make it in the Warhammer universe, and you could fight 
custom orc. I don't know. All these orcs all seem pretty identical and equally disposable. Yeah. I don't. I don't really know if one could rise above the other. Oh, that's, that's what orc war bosses are. That's what the guy like from the the big orc from the beginning was. He was a war boss. Oh, it wasn't just a guy who wanted to put on some custom armor. No, he was an orc war boss. He basically proved that he was bigger and meaner than all the other orcs. So, uh, you know. Sure, why not make him a big old boss? Well, you are just getting attacked and swarmed and. Yeah, it's not going great for me. Surprisingly, you're alive still, but God, just so many of them, like being swarmed by fleas, not really actual enemies, just a mild annoyance. God, it's brutal. Cut him in half. I see this game also steals from Doom. Hmm. Just ignore me now. <laughs> yep. I'm just pretending you're not saying anything. All right. My lord, I saw an orc! You saw an orc? You mean an orc entered your eyes and is now in your body? Heresy! Heresy! You would be surprised. That's probably happened. <laughs> God. This universe sucks. Yeah, it's... It, the, there's a there's a term for, um... Oh, jetpacks! Wow. This game is... Wow. I'm surprised this game would steal from Anthem, being that Anthem just recently came out. What was I saying? Oh, there's, a, there's, a, term, there's a term for the Warhammer games... It's called Grimdark, where everything is pretty much just shit. Yeah, it seems like it. And that's also a thing that wouldn't appeal to me. I like my games to have some positive attributes. Not everything needs to be bleak and depressing. Life is tough enough. There we go. Oh, boy, oh, boy. He's got a rocket launcher. Whamp! And, oh. uh... He's... I was trying to stun him. Is he trying to beat it up with his rocket launcher? I think so. There we go. Now we're... Now we're doing stuff. <laughs> you're getting swarmed by enemies a lot, and then you're just kind of shrugging it off. Because you're, you know, you're kind of a little Marty Sue yourself. What? It's the three of you versus, what, 50 billion orc enemies Oh, at yeah, this that's point? nothing for a space marine. Of, of course, because space marines are so elite. Yeah, that's kind of why I don't like the space marines that much. They're so great. That's Are the Tau in this game? I, I have no idea if the Tau are in this game. <laughs> I... I well, we've already seen humans and orcs, and you see there's like 174 other races, but... No, there's, um, the main races are the, the humans, the orcs, um, Tau, the, uh, Tyranids... What do Tau look like? We already discussed that. Uh, wait, are the Tau the fish people? Um, actually, yeah, the Tau kind of look like just the classic gray aliens. Oh, oh, okay. They kind of look like that. Alright. Just imagine like a classic gray alien, but a little bit, uh, meteor. Meteor, ah, okay. Yeah, they're not like, all, they're not all like super thin and frail. <laughs> like a, so they're like the classic gray alien, but totally jacked, bro. He's been hitting the gym. I wouldn't say totally jacked, bro. No, no, I want to imagine that. I want to imagine this lanky, gray, the stereotypical gray alien, but he's been hitting the gym for like, like 50, up, 50 years. Oh, I gotta hit my juice. Gung, gung, gung. Sup, bro? How you doing? Want a dairy shake? Yo, you want some whey? Hey, can you spot me? Uh, and, uh, so the fish monsters are not a major player race, they're the joke I mean, race. they... I wouldn't say they're... they're not a joke race, but, yeah, they're not exactly, like... Respected? Yeah, a lot of Warhammer players do not like the Tau at all. What? Because they're silly looking? Um, because they're kind of weeb-like. <laughs> so? Oh, here comes a few more. <sighs> You'd think they'd have learned. Wow, a single grenade just wiped out 90% no, like, of them. Like I've said, works are stupid. I get it. I get it, yup. I love that they have, like, trucks that they're- the truck's only purpose is to drive into the enemy and explode. They just have, like, suicide bomber trucks, but they have just the funniest little horn on them. <laughs> so it's like this truck will just come roly-poly down the battlefield and just be like, beep, beep, and then explode <laughs> in front of the enemy. Okay, I can get behind that. It's- I'm telling you, man, orcs are hilarious. Well, you keep saying that, but I haven't seen too many instances of them being funny so far. And first, of, maybe just in in general, they're hilarious. Yeah, but first impressions are important. This game might be somebody's first introduction, like me. It might be the first introduction to the Warhammer 40k. And if orcs are supposed to be fun, really haven't introduced that concept very well, have they? Well, they are fun to kill. I I guess. Lord knows you got plenty of opportunities to do so. A lot of these orcs look the same too. <laughs> like the comically large jaws, fun, but. When they're all like that, it's not unique anymore. It's kind of sad. Yeah, but they all have comically large jaws. I know, but then that's not comically large anymore. It's just jaws. It's just the normal, the normal way they look. 
Look, if you don't like the game and you don't want me to play it anymore, then I'll stop playing it. Oh, I'm just making a general criticism, a critique. This is my first time experiencing it. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that the rock, the their tunneling machines are called rocks. Oh. Or oh. diggas. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. Based on what you've told me so far, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, the orcs are, orcs are dumb. Chapter three, Belly of the Beast. Oh, we're gonna Ooh. keep on going down. Just follow the wires, because apparently orcs know a lot electricity and stuff. I mean, they know how some stuff works. Well, like I said, the more orcs there are, there are, the smarter they get. Like, to a point, they're still pretty stupid. Oh, what happens if I touch both of these sparky ends? Uh, I think you're gonna get electrocuted. I'm gonna do it anyway, because I believe I won't get electrocuted. Oh, okay, that sounds right to me. I think that'll work. I feel like it's not working! You need to believe harder then! I feel smarter now! And then, if, if literally, if enough of the orcs believed it, he probably would just become electrically infused and have electric <laughs> powers. No joke. I would love that! This sounds... <laughs> the orcs do, do sound like a fun and interesting race. Unfortunately, so far, we've just seen nothing but grunts that get easily slaughtered and what are two kind of interesting bosses. Maybe there's well, in, more. In the most recent Dawn of War uh, 40k game, you can play as the orcs in one of the one of the chapters. Uh, I think it's a grenade. Well, launcher. you weren't issued that gun by the emperor. Sounds like heresy. Nope. This is a this is an emperor approved gun. Is it now? You get emperor's stamp of approval. Well, I mean, technically not from the emperor because the emperor is in a perpetual coma. <laughs> I like to imagine every space marine is wearing. Underpants with the emperor's face on it, and it's also approved by the emperor. Um, Got a little tag, approved by emperor's inspector number five. I mean, you're technically not far off. You see that little seal on the back of my armor right there? Uh, you're talking about the little red dot the right little there? red wax seal? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's like a holy seal. <laughs> of course, but it's not really underpants, is it? Mm. So I wouldn't be surprised if Don't they were touch like, that! Don't. Uh, uh, heresy, you touch that. That was Heresy! I'm smelling heresy. Man, everything sounds terrible in this universe. Everything is heresy. Everybody dies. Everything is bleak. But at least you can watch enemies bleed to How death. How do I make the grenades go all explody? <laughs> How do I make the grenades do what grenades are supposed to yeah, do? Yeah, I... Well, I don't know if the grenades are allowed to explode. Did they get the Emperor's approval to explode? Oh, uh, they might not have. <laughs> Did each individual... Oh, I just wasn't pushing the grenade explody button. <laughs> of course. Where, where are you getting all these grenades from? This is an orc storage area. No, this is this is the this is one of the imperial um like bases that the orcs took over. Oh, okay. Remember? I would imagine it would be difficult to assault an enemy base because there would be no emperor approved ammunition in the base. So you'd have to go in with the ammunition that you brought in. Yeah, that's you have limited supply of ammunition and you can't use the enemy's weaponry, so yeah. What if you find a really cool weapon that the enemy uses? You're just not allowed to touch it? Are you allowed to at least bring it back for study? Uh, no, that's the Adeptus Mechanicus that does that. So Are you a member of the Adeptus Mechanicus? Uh, well, I, that's the idea I had. You could analyze the enemy's weaponry and use it. That's what the Adeptus Mechanicus does. Holy cow, are the Adeptus Mechanicus the only intelligent race in the entire game? Uh, they're humans, they're just very heavily modified humans. Yeah, I think I saw a little bit of that. They're mo they're more machine now than man. Didn't they have little robo skull drones hanging around last time I saw them? Yes, those are uh, servitors. Yeah, okay. They might be intelligent, but might not exactly be the kind of race that's the friendliest. Well, they're, they're humans. Yeah, that carry little skull robots around. Yeah, well, I mean, technically the Imperium does that too. That's what that's what opens all these doors. Oh, okay. See? God, right here. See, there's one. Yeah, but that thing's not alive right now. Uh, well, I mean, not by the definition of alive. No, it isn't. No, not at all. I bet it wishes it was dead. It, wait, is that thing still capable of thinking? The switch? Possibly. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe that's weird. Artificial intelligence is horribly banned, which is why they use servitors. <laughs> All kinds of intelligence are banned within the Imperium. Ah, uh, that's a good joke, brother. Too bad I'm gonna have to report you to the Commissar for heresy later. <laughs> Only if I don't report you first! <laughs> oh, let's fix bayonets, because we got a lot more enemies to kill. <laughs> There's no way we're surviving this day. Let's try to die quick. Wait, talking to the Inquisitor is a charge for heresy? No, well, maybe. Uh, everything's heresy, isn't it? Yeah, if the Inquisitor thinks you might be a heretic, then, uh, you know... If he, think, if he thinks you might be having heretical thoughts... Hmm. Hello, Mr. Inquisitor, how are you today? 
Oh, I'm... I'm doing well. In fact, I think I like your hat, heretic. Well, it certainly is looking a bit heretical down there. Time to lay an exterminatus on the planet. There aren't any Inquisitors that abuse their power, are there? Uh, yeah. What? Really? Unchecked power gets corrupted? Gee, you would... You, you wouldn't think so, <laughs> but yeah. Crazy, that. <laughs> no, he said he's, he's got a family. No, oh, oh, God. Never mind. Hey, don't pull the switch. Oh God, you pulled my switch. You Come pulled on. that eyeball out. My life sucks. Oh, where'd you come from? From behind you. Your, your friends weren't taking care of them because they're lazy. Yeah, they kind of don't really want to do anything. To well, one of them only has one eye. The shell has, like, Latin. Mercy is a sign of weakness. Um, not really Latin. Sorry. It'll, it, <laughs> sometimes, they have, sometimes they have Latin on, like, other parts of them, but it says, like, mercy is a sign of weakness. Mm -hmm. uh, only the Emperor is all. Oh, so the Space Marines crafted this device, obviously. Well, no, but some people did. The humans did. Yeah. Wow, isn't he strong, pushing that all by himself? Yep. Space Marines. Of course. Think he's gonna throw it as well? That's why, honestly, he's I gonna think throw it like a football because he's such a Marty Stew. Yeah, I think the uh, just the the Imperial Guard is more interesting to me than like the Space Marines. I think the Imperial Guard is great. I just love the concept of just having like tons and tons of of humans that you could just to, just to you know have them go out and live their lives and protect the or. Be protected by the Emperor, only they don't get protected by the Emperor because they get sawed in half. They're fighting a giant because they're fighting a giant, horrible spider monster that what? has a million legs, and they're only armed with a little tiny laser gun. You lost me. I, I I was following for a while, but I think I'm lost now. I I don't know. I just kind of went off on a tangent. I think the human. I think just the Imperial Guard is more interesting than the Space Marines. Okay, I think I can get behind that based on my my cursory knowledge of this series. What were you talking about, spicy spider people? Oh, yeah, the Tyranids are basically horrible spider monsters. So that's who the uh, the enemy Imperial outcasts are fighting, the spider monsters? Oh, no, the, the, Imper the Imperial outcast. Well, I mean, technically, everybody's, everybody's fighting everybody. Everybody's fighting everybody. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that really hurt. Yeah, he's got the big old jaws of life for a jaw, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> he, almost, he almost crushed it. Ah, there you there go. There we go! <laughs> And then I punched his head off. Yeah, just for good measure. And you guys. Meanwhile, guys, these two guys can't take on one. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> um, yeah, the the Tyranids are massive spider monsters. Do they have four arms and legs, or do they have the same appendages as you? I uh, no, they have. Well, <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, uh, fun fact. Yeah. Starcraft was originally supposed to be. A Warhammer 40k game. I think you mentioned this before. And then me. basically the they dropped out of it, which is why the humans in the in the big chunky armor, mm -hmm. like the the I don't know if they call them Marines, but there's a bunch of humans wearing big chunky armor. They look like space marines, and the Zerg are pretty much just the Tyranids. Ah, who are the orcs? Um, I don't think the orcs are actually in that game. Mm. So in that game, if StarCraft had become a Warhammer 40k game, it would have been humans versus Tyranids. Roughly. Uh, humans versus Tyranids, and also there's another race that's pretty much just kind of like the Tau. I can't remember what the name of that race is, though, because I didn't really play that much StarCraft. I know nothing about StarCraft. Yeah, I didn't play it very much. Probably for the best. It, sounds, it seems like one of those games you can get really addicted to it. Like a lot of games these days, huh? Space Marine! It's like, uh, they're just figuring it out. The Space Marines are here, huh? Oh, you are low on health. At least you're gonna go out with a back. Okay, you got your health back somehow. Yeah, I used my, uh, oh, no, I didn't. There we go. Now you're using your rage ability, your rage meter. You have, like, uh, oh, fast regenerating health and a thirst for blood. Yes. Okay. And now it's run out, so now I'm probably going to die again. <laughs> well, now that you, there you go. You can pick that guy off. No problem. You're fine. All right, we did it. Yeah, you did it, really. The Emperor protects. You protect for the Emperor. Your friends are kind of there. Not really doing much. 
So, what's the goal? I wasn't really paying attention. We're blowing oh, something up, right? Yeah, we're bringing the missile up here. It should be somewhere around. We're bringing the missile up here, and then I'm going to push it into the gun, and then set off the melted charge, which is basically just a big old frickin' bomb. Hmm. And, uh, then we'll, um, then and then we'll get the, out of here. The orcs will be exterminated. No more orcs. No, the, just this gun will be taken care of, so mm. the orcs will stop blowing up support that's coming here to save everybody. Okay. Get away from my cannon! Were they whacking it with their axe? Yeah, they were probably bonking on it. <laughs> They're pretty dumb. Well, you say that, but if they think it's gonna damage your thing, then what I know about them is gonna damage your thing, because they think it's going to, right? Then we put it back. Right? I guess. I guess we're gonna have to protect the shell now from the orc! Yeah, yeah well. Leandros has gotta push it. Oh, is that his name, Leandros? Yeah, it's I thought this guy right here. I thought Leandros was the name of the woman. My mistake. Okay, just another day at the shooting gallery. Hey, you got your rage meter filled up. You could go on a rampage. I well, guess you better save that for when they inevitably start swarming you by the thousands. Yeah. Hello, we are the emissaries for the orcs. We have come in peace now. I don't think they would ever come in peace. <laughs> Here comes ceremonial exploding lowlifes. No, don't kill them. They were going to give you a gift. It was an explosion. We killed all the orcs, and it's time for us to get out of here. And cool guys don't look at explosions. Don't you dare turn around. Cool guys don't look at explosions, because otherwise you get shrapnel in your eyeballs. Yeah, that's actually probably a good point. Okay, so we have blown up all of the orcs. The orcs have been exterminated, and now we're back in human territory. Nope. Uh, we did not blow up all the orcs. That was just the orcs in that cannon. Oh, there's more orcs? Yes. Oh, Lord. How many more of them are there? Uh, I don't know. These ones are trying to run away, though. Oh, uh, no, come on. This is this has got to be violating some kind of rules of war. You don't shoot uh, fleeing. Yeah, you do. They're Xenos. Get rid of them. I think you might be some kind of alien phobe. You, you just you got prejudice against aliens that have done nothing to you. Well, so is the Emperor. Yeah, well, the, the Emperor sounds kind of like a dick just between you and me. Yeah, he kind of is a dick. But he's also in a coma, so how can he keep being a dick? Why can't someone just unplug him already? If they unplug the Emperor, then humanity will have no way to traverse through space anymore. Why? Uh, because the Emperor is basically like a lighthouse that tells them where Earth is, so they're able to go through space. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, why don't you just keep him in a coma, and somebody else can usurp his power, someone who's not an idiot? Uh, no. People love the Emperor too much. Do they, though? Are they all... Yeah. Ah, it feels like... Well, I guess if you kill everyone who's disgruntled with the Emperor, then there's no one left alive who wouldn't be happy Pretty with much. the Emperor. There is the group of outcasts, though, right? Like, the red-armored guys hate the Emperor? Yeah, but they... Uh, they worship chaos. Well, is that, isn't that better than uh, a genocidal racist? I mean, if by better you mean someone who believes that everything should be killed to build a throne made out of giant skulls and blood <laughs> oh is that why you're always yelling blood for the blood throne is, yes is that a reference to them yes that is a reference to corn and chaos oh i thought yeah, chaos is a super super bad thing it's like super devil i thought it was a destiny thing that you were always yelling oh no uh, okay no it's from this okay there's like three evil factions. There's um. There, you said they're all evil factions. Yeah, none of them are really good. But corn is basically violence, and you know, just everything must die. Are you talking about factions or gods that they? The, like the gods of them. Okay. There's corn, which is pretty much violence, and everything must die. That's K H O R N E. Of course. And. Uh, you think that's where the band got their name from? You think the corn? band Corn is a Warhammer 40k band? That I they, kinda they, doubt they it. They love this game so much that they made their band a reference to it? I kinda doubt it, but maybe. <laughs> yeah. A lot of times people who are super into metal are also massive nerds. <laughs> um, also the other gods, you got Corn, you got Chaos. Well, Chaos is part of, I guess, Corn. I don't know, I'm getting this so wrong. <laughs> it sounds like the Holy Trinity, kind of like Christianity. Well, Only there's also Nurgle, and Nurgle is like the god of rot and decay. <laughs> so he would be the equivalent of the Holy Spirit then, right? I guess. Corn, Nurgle, and, uh... Um, I'm trying to remember what the name of the other one is. <laughs> I forget what, I forget what his, her name is. And the Mother Mary. And she's basically just the god of just horrible sexual excess. Ooh, well, now you've sold me on this new race. I can't remember what her name is. Um, and it's like really bad sexual excess, like flaying people alive and getting off to it. 
Uh, it's a little too much for me. I don't really care much for the exposed epidermi. I don't really, you know, I was going to, but I like my skin, and I just had a uh, dermatology appointment, and you know, it's um, it's today's a bad week for it. Yeah, yeah, some other time. <laughs> they look like little birthday cakes strutting towards you. Woo! Happy birthday! Blow me out! Blow me out! Happy birthday! Happy Death Day! Okay, what's our goal? I wasn't paying attention. Um, <laughs> As always. <laughs> we're taking on orcs. <laughs> Are you surprised? I think we're riding on a train. An orc train, maybe? Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're space marines on a train. Are we hijacking? No, this is a human train. There's just orcs here. And once again, you brutalize them and they die. <laughs> yep. And there's a few more for you to kill, because there's never any shortage. Yup. And your friends are there, cheering you on. So what kind of strategy is there in this game, aside from choosing which weapon to use to shoot the enemies? That's pretty much it. That's, that's it? Just kill orcs. Uh, I'm just curious, because it feels like, well, then again, I did think the same thing about Doom, didn't I? Where I thought, oh, this is kind of fun, but also very monotonous, but that game series is well beloved and a lot of people like it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I did not expect to no-scope those guys. <laughs> okay, you get moments like that that are kind of fun. You gotta give you that. You know what this game is really missing? Personality. You've got two guys with you. You've been fighting with them for the last an hour or two, and they really haven't done anything memorable. Not really. I know one of them is named Leandra. I don't even know the name of the other guy. I can't remember. I know my name's Captain Titus. I didn't even remember that. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Captain Tinnitus because you've been surrounded by gunfire so much you can't hear anything. You know, that wouldn't surprise me if I was unable to hear. Oh, look, we passed the big part of the bridge. Oh, okay. Are we on the San Francisco? I, is there a San Francisco anymore? Yeah, 40,000 years in the future, probably no, not. No, pretty much all of Earth is just a massive... Uh, conglomeration of cities and earth is basically incapable of doing anything except getting food from other places and apparently breeding like rats so you can send a million people to die that is also true like every other race in this game hmm. there's actually a lot of planets in the warhammer 40 40k universe that are actually like quite peaceful there's not really a whole lot going on there because <laughs> only one race is on them Oh, yeah, I mean, it's just like humans, and they just live a kind of, you know, feudal, like, lifestyle, and they just, you know... Sounds nice compared to this. God, what a mess this must be. So, I'm gonna say that you've got two companions here. One of them's named Leandra, wasn't it? Leandros? I'm gonna call him Leandros. Uncle Leandros! <laughs> oh, the Blood of Martyrs is the seat of the Imperium, Mike. Yes, I see. What's the name of the other guy, huh? I can't remember. I'm going to call him Planetfall in honor of this menu screen right here. So your friends Leandros and Planetfall haven't really been seeming to do a whole lot. No, not really. They've kind of uh, been uh, not doing much. They haven't even been cheering for you, which is dishonorable. They should be helping. In fact, they should take point every once in a while. I know you're the main character, but you know, Leandros wants to step up sometimes, right? You think there's only Space Marines versus Orcs in this game? I, you know, I wish I could tell you. It's been three chapters and we haven't seen any other races. We are here for a while. Well, your gun seems to overheat a lot. Yeah, that's because I fired too many shots. And I died. Well, it's okay. Only in death does duty end. And now that's your true. watch has ended. <laughs> there's a... Ow, I think I actually just, almost just blew myself <laughs> up. I was about to say, it looks like there's a winch on the back of that thing. You think that's like their little... Why did we mount cannons on our tow truck? Well, yeah, there is actually a little claw on the back of it. Well, you never know. Sometimes you're trying to tow it. Okay, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Life is the emperor's currency. Unfortunately, the exchange rate is not very good. No, the exchange rate's terrible. You will die. Well, this is going to be the last time I try doing this, and if I can't do it, then I'm going to say this game's dumb and we shouldn't play it anymore. <laughs> oh, that's going to be the breaking point, huh? Yeah, if I can't figure out how to blow up this ship... Well, you're actually doing damage to it, I assume. I assume you're doing damage to it, I have no idea. You, you've definitely taken damage. It's smoking. Do you think it's seeing the world in black and white now? Probably not. It's probably doing just fine. <laughs> yeah. 
But now it can't see. It's gonna land right on top of you. Oh, hello. Can you jump in there? Oh, come on. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has gone well. Well, it has been an enjoyable experience. I Keep think. On uh, going. Now, do you, how do you how do you feel about the Warhammer series? I feel like there's potential. There's definitely a Warhammer game out there that would appeal to me. I don't know if this is the one though. It might be just the actual tabletop game. Maybe. Except that then you got to buy a rule book, which that costs fifty dollars. Yeah, I don't know about that. Like, let's say that you really that you really want to get into Warhammer, right? How much do you think it's going to cost for you to build uh, build an army? I'm going to make one out of pennies. They will be the penny race. Nope, you can't do that. I have already done this. No, you can't do that. And How... they worship the penny emperor. His name is Abraham Lincoln. How much do you think it's going to be for uh, to get started playing the, or playing Warhammer? Well, if you're using my custom race, 17 cents. Uh, no, it's going to cost you at least $100 for the start collecting set, but that is still isn't enough to build a full army. No, nope, you got to use the home-built penny set. Maybe the pawn's out of my yeah, chest. Pieces. no joke, some of the titans, if you want to buy models of them, they are literally like $200. Yeah, and they keep on getting gunned down by the orcs in the Tau, so you got to keep on buying more and more. Oh, can you imagine those well, figurines? When, you, when they get destroyed, you don't... When they get killed in battle, you don't break them. <laughs> Jeez, Mike, what are you, a maniac? <laughs> I, I think if you if you brought that up in a, in a Warhammer game, they would be like, "You are insane! What is wrong with you?" I have beaten your orcs. You take out a giant comical mallet you had behind your back. Long. Oh my god! You would probably get beaten up. You would get beat up by a bunch of nerds. They spent hours gluing those together and painting them, doing a very bad job painting them, mind you. Well, do you speak from experience? Uh, a lot of times the, the they're not painted very well. They're not painted by numbers kind of thing? Yeah, not really. <laughs> it's difficult. They're tiny figurines. It's it is. I'm actually pretty good at painting minis. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You said you were going to make minis out of tanks, weren't you? You're going to have a couple of I tank going minis? going to. I don't know. Yeah, you're still mulling over the idea, or is yeah. it going to be a lot more work now that you it's thought? A lot, it's a lot of money. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's probably the the factor right there. Yeah. Cost prohibitive. If you want, if you have kids and you don't want your kids to do drugs, introduce them to Warhammer. They'll never have enough money for drugs. Or Magic the Gathering, I Or heard. Magic the Gathering. They'll never have enough money for hey, drugs. Hey, you play that too. No wonder you're always broke. I'm, I'm kind of done. All right, sounds good. The, the, um, the, the Space Marines can finish the mission on their own. They, they seem yeah. so capable. I didn't even know where they went to. <laughs> Leandros? That ship yeah, showed Leandros up and wasn't even with you anymore. Yeah, that ship showed up and neither of my two guys were there anymore. Leandros and Titanfall are the worst. Yeah, oh, man.